The Oshkosh LATV Light Combat Tactical All Terrain Vehicle is a light utility, combat multi-role vehicle that won the U.S. military's Army Light Joint Light Tactical Vehicle JLTV program. The LATV was designed to deliver a level of protection comparable to that of heavier and less maneuverable mine-resistant ambush-protected MRAP class designs, these having more protection from blasts than up-armored HMMWVs, which they were delivered to replace on deploy. Given the competitive nature of the JLTV competition and recompete, only limited technical detail has been released by either the U.S. Army or Oshkosh. This directly impacts on available LATV technical detail. Only nominal dimensions and limited operating weight and automotive data is available. The TAK-4I version fitted to the LATV remains undisclosed, but is not coil sprung and is of the variable adjustable ride height type with up to 20 inches, 51 centimeters of wheel travel, 25% more than the current standard. The JLTV power output is 340 F. In commercial use, power output of the standard Duramax LNL engine is currently up to 397 F, 296 kilowatts at 3,000 revolutions per minute. Production of the unit replaced by the Duramax LP5. The A2 JLTV will be powered by the next generation of the Duramax engine. Production of the current Duramax My 2020 liters. 5P scheduled to conclude Q3 FY22. An Allison 2500 SP6 speed fully automatic transmission is fitted to all JLTV. The LATV can be fitted with the Oshkosh Propulse Diesel Electric Powertrain, previously fitted to the Oshkosh Heavy Expanded Mobility Tactical Truck and MTVR. According to Oshkosh literature, the Propulse Diesel Electric Powertrain dramatically improves fuel economy by up to 35% in certain circumstances and serves as an onboard generator with enough output to power an entire airfield or hospital, generating up to 120 kilowatts of AC power for external operations. JLTV features a design that supports mobility, reliability, and maintainability within weight limits to ensure tactical transport to and from the battlefield. JLTV will use scalable armor solutions to meet requirements for added protection while maintaining load carrying capacity. Commonality of components, maintenance procedures, and training between all variants will minimize total ownership costs. The JLTV family will balance critical weight and transportability constraints within performance, protection, and payload requirements, all while ensuring an affordable solution for the Army and USMC. Completing rigorous test and evaluation efforts at Aberdeen Test Center, MD, and Yuma Test Center, ARIS, the prototypes underwent ballistic protection, system performance, and reliability and maintainability tests to gauge technical potential against Yale TV requirements, with an emphasis on identifying potential trade-offs to reduce system weight. During the LATV design process, every component was optimized for survivability, resulting in the same level of protection in a vehicle 30% smaller. This resulted in a curb weight for the JLTV requirement of 14,000 pounds, 6,400 kilograms, almost one-third the weight of the heavier MRAP 4x4 models, and almost half the weight of the original MRAP models. Payload allowance for the JLTV in Combat Tactical Vehicle CDD configuration was four passengers and 3,500 pounds, 1,600 kilograms of cargo, and in Combat Support Vehicle, CSV configuration was two passengers and 5,100 pounds, 2,300 kilograms of cargo. A base LATV does not have a standard armament. However, it can be fitted with a selection of weapons, including light, medium, and heavy machine guns, automatic grenade launchers, or anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs, depending on user requirements. The weapons can be operated from ring mounts or a remote weapon station. Smoke grenade launchers for self-defense can also be fitted if required. The hybrid powertrain was not a requirement of the JLTV program. Hybrid electric JLTV was unveiled. 
This fitted with a lithium ion battery pack. In a limited user test, LUT, the LATV demonstrated reliability of 7,051 me miles between operational mission failure more than the Humvee and either other GLTV competitor. The LATV offers protection levels greater than those of up armored HMMWVs and comparable to those of original MRAB class designs, but in an overall vehicle package that is considerably smaller and lighter than vehicles procured under the U.S. Marines MRAP procurement. The LATV is fully compliant with the U.S. Army's long-term armor strategy, LTAs, based around the AKIT B-Kit modular armor principle. The AKIT, which is installed during build, is primarily fixings for add-on armor, but can include small amounts of armor fitted in difficult to reach areas. The B-Kit is essentially the add-on armor. This added when required, and as the Oshkosh JLTV features the company's TAK4I Intelligent Independent Suspension System that adjusts ride, height type, with as much as 20 inches of wheel travel. The vehicle also has the digitally controlled General Motors Duramax V8 cylinder 6.6 liter diesel engine. The vehicle can accommodate light, medium, and heavy machine guns, automatic grenade launchers, smoke grenade launchers, or anti-tank missiles operated from ring mounts or a remote weapon station. The Contracting Command awarded the contract on behalf of the Army Tank Automotive and Armaments Command in Warren Mike. Featuring unprecedented performance with the patented TAK-4 ITM Intelligent Independent Suspension System, the Oshkosh JLTV quickly adjusts to achieve diverse transportability needs by Air CH-47 and CH-53 helicopter C-130, C-5, C-17, and a 400 cargo fixed wing aircraft land and sea. And it's ready on arrival, giving troops the reliability and performance needed for harsh battlefield environments as a modular add-on. The services completed all planned performance and RAM testing, however, because of the increased requirement in underbody survivability, more challenging ballistic testing was conducted to help inform the EMT phase requirements. The 2C variant has one base vehicle platform, the utility. The 2C variant will have a greater payload capacity of 5,100 ohms versus 3,500 ohms for the 4C variant each base vehicle platform will be configured as a mission package configuration through the installation of mission packages. Mission packages include the GP, Heavy Guns Carrier, HEC, CCLUC, and UDL. Oshkosh developed the core 1080 crew protection system for the vehicle, comprising the hull design, armor materials, a fire extinguishing system, and energy-absorbing floors, seats, and restraint systems for crew members in stowage 